Ideas for paintings can come in many ways. It's something that I often wait for um, as opposed to things that I construct. Um, there was a period where I, my work was more kind of conceptual, I suppose, and so, um, and it was something that in the end I reacted against because of the, um, the you know, it was too much from the head and not enough from just the senses. And that was one of the reasons why my commitment to still life. The, the way I come about a subject, sometimes things will come into the house that we bring in. It may be, you know, for example, flowers we bought. Sometimes, you know, um, there's been times in the past where my son has caught um, some whiting. Other times there'll be something which I just, that actually is in the house that I find I just look at for a while. Um, there's that example of the cardboard box um, folio books. It was when I was teaching at Somerville, had sent books over in a random house company box and it just sat on the floor of my office for some time and I just with the the lid of the the box up like that and um, on a kind of semi-subconscious level I realized I just was looking at it looking at it and kind of laughing um, internally a bit because you know it had random house on the side the lid of the box was up and it looked a bit like a house and then yeah, after probably two or three weeks, it kind of went, ah, oh, take it home and paint it. Um, so which comes back to that little bit of idea of a um, kind of fun or kind of humour of pl playing with it.